You really missed that hour of sleep you lost very early on Sunday morning, and I missed mine too. In fact, springing ahead upset our viewer Philip S. so much that he emailed us a link to this YouTube video from CGP Gray. Every year, some countries move their clocks forward in the spring, only to move them back in the autumn. To the vast majority of the world who doesn't participate in this odd clock fiddling, it seems a baffling thing to do. So what's the reason behind it? The original idea, proposed by George Hudson, was to give people more sunlight in the summer. Of course, it's important to note that changing a clock doesn't actually make more sunlight, that's not how physics works. But, by moving the clocks forward an hour, compared to all other human activity, the sun will seem to both rise and set later. The time when the clocks are moved forward is called daylight saving time, and the rest of the year is called standard time. This switch effectively gives people more time to enjoy the sunshine and nice summer weather after work. Hudson, in particular, wanted more sunlight so he could spend more time adding to his insect collection. When winter is coming, the clocks move back, presumably because people don't want to go outside anymore. But winter doesn't have this effect on everyone. If you live in a tropical place like Hawaii, you really don't have to worry about seasons because they pretty much don't happen. Every day, all year, is sunny and beautiful, so Christmas is just as good of a day to hit the beach as any other. And so, Hawaii is one of two states in the Union that ignore daylight saving time. Now, you and I have talked about that other state that also ignores daylight savings time, and we'll talk more about it in just a minute. But first, the widely accepted rationale on why daylight saving time was established in the first place, alleged energy savings. The reasoning goes that it encourages people to stay out later in the summer and thus use less artificial lighting. This sounds logical, and it may have worked in the more regimented society of a hundred years ago, but does it still work in the modern world? That turns out to be a surprisingly difficult question to answer. For example, take mankind's greatest invention, air conditioning. The magic box of cool that makes otherwise uninhabitable sections of the world quite tolerable places to live. But pumping heat out of your house isn't cheap, and turning on one air conditioner is the same as running dozens of tungsten light bulbs. If people get more sunshine, but they don't use it to go outside, then daylight saving time might actually cost electricity, not save it. This is particularly true in a place like Phoenix, where the average summer high is 107 degrees and the record is 122. If you suggest to an Arizonan to change their clocks in the summer to get more sunshine, they laugh in your face. Sun and higher electricity bills are not what they want, which is why Arizona is the second state that never changes their clocks. And having represented Arizona in the U.S. Congress for 12 years, let me tell you the real reason why the Grand Canyon state said no to daylight saving time. You see, back in the day, when the big push was on to adopt it, there were two powerful special interest groups, the cotton growers and the drive-in theater operators. They got together and visited the state capitol, telling legislators it was crazy to wait till around 9 p.m. to start showing movies and that Arizona's cotton crop would be jeopardized. So, Arizona legislators listened and said no to DST. But when you talk to people in the big cities, such as HBO's Last Week Tonight did, they still think it's all about agriculture. I know it started because of farmers, I'm almost sure of that. But that's not actually true. It gives them extra time to plant, extra time to harvest. It has nothing to do with farmers. I remember years ago hearing that it was for the farm people. The farm people want nothing to do with this, as they themselves will tell you. I know really no farmer that I'm aware of that benefits from, from you know, actually farm activities and daylight saving time. Of course daylight saving doesn't benefit farmers. Cows don't care what time it is because they're cows, and cows are idiots. Yeah, sure, sure, cows may be idiots, but the Arizona state legislators were not, at least way back when. That's why Arizonans slept peacefully this past Saturday night into Sunday morning. Of course, there are complications. I've lost count of how many times I had to tell non-Arizonans that the net effect was that we were on Denver time in the winter and LA time in the summer, but admit it, nothing is more aggravating than losing an hour's sleep. That's what residents of 48 states did very early Sunday morning, including our incensed viewer, Philip S., and through my own sleep shortened bleary eyes. That's the way I see it, too. Let's just go back to standard time. What are we saving? Come on, we need the sleep. But now that you're awake, we want you to stay here because hour three of America's Forum is coming up right after this timeout.